Do you want to know the secret to leading with the hips in the golf swing? This is an actual secret. I'm going to share it with you today. This is going to... Um, you're going to look at the golf swing in a different way after this. You're going to let the body control your golf swing, the hands and arms. Let's quieten them. So let's discuss the secret to leading with the hips in the golf swing. This is 100 miles an hour. The body here, the arms are 30 miles per hour. Therefore, the body's only traveling at five miles per hour. So 130 and five. So how do I get my lower half of my body to open up before the club head gets there? If you think about the physics or the maths behind that, it's impossible, or it would certainly seem so. Before we start this video, have you tried the gem training aid? Look at that. It sets the club in position. It's a truly amazing teaching aid. Club comes up, there it is, set in position. Then of course on the follow through, it's set into position. So it allows you to feel the full release of the golf club. So it allows you to feel how the golf club releases through impact due to the counterbalance weight of the gem. Golf's essential move. There's a link in the description below. Along with that is a promo code. You can get a discount on that. But this is an unbelievable training aid, which has changed the ball strike of so many people understanding the release, feeling release for the first time, you'll never slice a ball again. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to learn to slow the arms down. If the arms are moving too fast, then the hips are never going to open earlier. Okay. So if we were to able to slow the arms down and do one more thing, slow the arms down, but move the body earlier. So at top of the swing position, if I was to able to slow these arms down from the top so instead of being so quick so quick with the arms trying to get the body to open if I move the body earlier with slower arms that would work so I'm up to the top as I get to the top I move my body so up to the top I move my body earlier and slow the arms then I'm going to get that disconnection between bottom half and top half so slower arms and body first slower arms body first there's going to be a chance of getting this hip open to lead the shot now that that's not just going to happen overnight we have to work on that how do we work on that we have to take swings that are relevant to what we're trying to do so you need to get to the range and work on this but there's three parts to it part one we're going to slow the swing down with tension free swings tension free no tension in the arms no tight grip if I throw this ball and I'm going to throw it, I'm not going to grip tight on this. Why would I grip tight? I want to release it. Golf club I want to release as well. If I get to the top, gripping tight, pull down, of course. I'm never, I'm never going to get that. I'm going to get too much of this because of the tension in there. Tension free swings. I have seven iron. I'm going to hit this about, I don't know, less than 100 yards. I normally hit it 170. 160 to 170. I'm going to hit it 70 yards. Sit between 70 and 100 yards. I take my full address position and I want tension free. So it's full. It's slow arms. And I can feel then how the body's working. So it's slow arms. And I've hit that probably about 80 yards or so. With slow tension free swings. I actually feel quite relaxed just discussing this. Tension free. <laughs> Tension free. Tension free arms are slow. Look at that. But even if I slowed that swing down and watched that on camera, I'm pretty sure from there my body would have moved first, my left hip would have got out the way first without even trying. So tension free swings, lots of those. If you have a track man at your range and you hit your seven iron 150, let's hit it 90 yards. Let's try and hit 90 yards seven irons, but full swing. It has to be full swing tension free. If we get short and fast to hit it just that 70, 80, 90 yards, that's pointless. We have to have the full swing experience to feel the arms slow down. So we have a full range of motion, but a tension free swing. That's going to train the arms to slow down. The, before the body opens up, we have to slow down the arms. So once we've got the hang of that hit, hit lots of balls, go to the range, just keep hitting lots of balls, tension free swings. Part two, we need to add some speed, but when we add the speed, 
because we want to hit the ball further. We can't go around the golf course like that. Of course we can't. So now we have to add a little bit more speed. So it's speed at the bottom. It's speed at the bottom of the arc, the low point of your swing arc. I say the low point of the swing arc, but I mean from here to here is where we're adding the speed. So still slow swings, slow, because we're slowing down the arms. Tension free, tension free. Once the club's here, we just add a little bit more speed with body. So I'm tension free, tension free, tension free, tension free. Then from there, a little bit more aggression through the shot. So tension free. I still, that's great. And it still feels slow from the top. Tension free. Yes. A little bit more purchase on it. There was a little bit more purchase on that. I wasn't aggressive with the arms, but because halfway down to halfway through, I felt as though I moved body more productively. Yeah, a little bit more aggression through impact, but tension free. We've still not talked about how we get the body out of the way, but it's starting to happen without even thinking about it. Tension free all the way to there. And then there's a little bit more aggression of the body. Tension free. Yeah. Tension free. You can almost take that to the golf course. I'm reckon that's going probably 130 of my 170, maybe 120. I'm going to do one more, feeling the same thing. So tension free, feels great. <laughs> it's actually making the game so much easier. This is, I knew it was good, but it's surprising when you create content how you can take it to your own game. Anyway, part three. Part three, we need to get the body to open up. So we have to have a trigger. We have to have something that's gonna make that happen and visually be able to see what's actually going on. So I think about, if you think about your knee, your femur, the bone, top half of the, the, the your, your leg, when the club comes back, we're here, so there's where the angle's gone. Before we start the downswing, one of you feels with that knee or that femur externally rotates to there. That's the start of your downswing. And then from there, we can continue through. So that's going to get this left hip out of the way. At my address position here, there, I get the top of my tension free swing. Top of my tension free swing there. My left knee, my lead knee, as I look down, covers my left foot. Not fully covers it, but it's, the majority of it is on top of that left foot. So I'm there. And then I want to start the downswing, my tension free downswing, with get, moving the left knee out of the way. So it externally rotates. I can now see grass in between my knee and my foot. That there, I can cut covering the laces. Now I can see my laces. And when I do that, you can see how the body has opened. So external rotation, the left hip now, from there the left hip now gets out of the way and it's tension free all the way to there. And I can continue that left knee external rotating that's going to add the speed and get the hips to open up. Top of the tension free swing, stop. Look at your left knee, does it cover your laces? Yes. Move that left knee out of the way, feel the left hip go back. You can now see the laces, brilliant, but it's still tension free. Then from there you add the speed with the hips turning and aggression through impact. But the start of the downswing still has quiet, slow arms. So a dress position, good. Tension free to the top, left knees covering laces. Move left knee out of the way with tension free arms there, and then from there I can continue down through the impact. How good? I mean, how good was that? I can't explain how good it felt. It drew right to left. Again, up the top checkpoint, left knee, lead knee, covering laces. Move it out of the way, good. Quiet arms, tension free. Great again, hips are opening up. Hips are opening up there because I moved the left knee away. I can not see my laces, I can now see them. Look at that. And then from there, I can continue down with my quiet, slower arms. But the aggression through impact is the body doing this. So I'm there. Good. I like it. 
you will like it too. Camera's not great there, is it? It's because the sun's decided to come out in Scotland. So start off with tension-free swings. Tension-free, 80 yards. Tension-free, a little bit more aggression at the bottom. And then full swing, covering the laces, external rotation of the left knee with tension-free arms. Happy. Happy with that. And that is the secret to leading with your hips in the golf swing.